Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to submit your music to radio stations? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro! What's up, it's your boy Skill from SkillMusicSA.com and welcome to my channel where I share information with my fellow South African musicians to help them improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing as I have other videos I think you will find informative. In this video, I plan on sharing my thoughts on how you should go about submitting to several radio stations within South Africa. Now, before you start running off and submitting all your music to radio stations, I think it is very important that you register yourself with two organizations in particular and a third one is optional. The first one is Sam so you can start collecting your performance royalties and you have to register yourself and the song. It is necessary for most radio stations, especially the SABC ones, to have a relation number which is given from Samro. The second organization I highly suggest that you register yourself with is Sampra. Sampra collects the needle time royalties and needle time royalties have to do basically with the sound recording. So if you own the recordings of a song, then you should be getting the needle time royalty. The third one that I highly suggest that you affiliate yourself with is Risa. You don't necessarily have to be a member for Risa, but in order to get your ISRC codes, you have to register on their online portal. These three organizations, I've done several tutorials on each of them, and I've left links in the bio. You can also check out my playlist, Figuring Out the SA Music Industry. There are several videos that will help you understand how to go about registering these platforms. A fourth one I highly suggest that you register yourself with is DistroKid. DistroKid helps distribute your music on platforms such as Spotify, Apple Music, etc. But the feature that I think is very interesting if you're going for radio play is the Shazam feature. Shazam is basically an app that you use that can tell you what song is being played when it's being used. The reason you want that is if your song is being played on radio, you want people to listen and stream that music. And the only way to do that is if it's on Spotify, Apple Music, and it is connected to Shazam. There's an additional fee for DistroKid and an additional fee for Shazam. So if you can't afford it, don't worry, life will move on, people will be able to find your music, but at least get your music on the online platforms. Now for the main topic of this video, how do you submit to a radio station? There's no one size that fits off all radio stations, each sub radio station generally has their own submission guidelines. But in terms of South Africa, all SABC radio stations have to have a way that tells the public how to submit their music. So I'm gonna head over to my PC and show you exactly where to find this contact list and to check the submission guidelines. But before I move on to that, not all radio stations are owned by the SABC. So several other radio stations may be worth your time to investigate how to submit. I know for example, Agoa FM has its own platform of how to go about submitting to your music. But I think the best way in all of this is to give the radio stations a call and ask to get in contact with the music compiler. The music compiler is the one that arranges basically playlists. And the only way to get onto those playlists is if that music compiler thinks your music is a perfect fit. So I'm going to head over to my PC and show you exactly where to find this contact list and to check the exhibition guidelines. What's up? So the first thing you're going to do is try to organize a list of radio stations that you want to target. Okay. So the easiest thing to do, you know, SABC owns all the radio stations. So you're going to hit Google, um, Google SABC radio stations. Here it is here. If you click on the list where it says Radio SABC official website, this is the best way to, to get a list of all the radio stations that they cover. Okay. These are all the radio stations that they cover SABC. Now, what you want is to get the contact details of the radio stations that you are interested in. So I'm going to look at True FM in particular. Um, let's hit the Google. Google True FM. The reason I chose True FM is that it's actually pretty big, but not too big. It's not Metro FM big and it's easier to get access into. So the thing you want is to find the FAQ section. No, I don't want to do so there. What you want to do is find the FAQ section. Usually it's in the tab at the top, but I think they realize people were catching on to it. So they've moved the FAQ section. It's If it's not at the top, you'll find it under more where it says FAQ. Click on the FAQ. And as you can see on the FAQ section, there's a section that says submit original music for airplay. They give you very specific details. So do not de don't deviate from these specifications. Here's the email address that you want to collect. And it must not be more than four megabytes the size of your MP3. So there's three things that you need. You need to send them an email. You need to attach an MP3 of your song and it must be no bigger than four megabytes. This applies to every more likely most of the most of the radio stations in here. Let's try to um, 
Metro FM because everyone knows Metro FM. Um, Metro FM. Internet's so slow. Oh, I already went in. You see Metro FM is also owned by the SABC. You can see at the top and there they show your FAQ section right there. So you just click on the FAQ section. Take some time and then it should be here somewhere most likely. You have to look very carefully because they've kind of tried to hide it. Here it is again. Music at Metro FM. This is where you get a hold of the music compiler, Music at Metro FM. So one thing you do notice is that the SABC websites, they put the name of the radio station at the end.co.za, but it begins with music. If you look at True FM, music at truefm.co.za. So nine times of 10, you could probably assume that that radio station uses the same type of, um, let's check out 5FM. 5FM. I'm just giving you several examples because they don't give the same specifications. If you look at Metro FM, it says, if you'd like to submit your music to be considered for airplay, submit to Metro FM via email on music at Metro FM. They don't tell you a size, but since True FM is already giving you a size, send the same size file to the other one. I think when it gets over four megabytes, it automatically bounces, so it won't get to them. Oh, what happened? Yeah, oh, it's the digital player. You don't want the digital player now, do you? Go to the website. Now oh, let's check. 5FM has also got an FAQ section. What is playing? Submissions, downloads, promote your cause. Here it says, submit original music. When submission, you see it's slightly different for 5FM. Submit your music digitally to playlist at 5FM.ca.ca. And the file size must not be bigger than five megabytes, but keep it to the five, the four megabyte size, just in case it gets kicked out automatically. And with them, they actually want a little bit more information. Register, you see over here, they won't even consider your song if it's not registered with Samro. And then the file size must not be bigger than six megabytes. Um, I suggest that you add if you're going to submit to something like 5fm that you add this um jpeg in the same link where the wave is so if they download the wave they get both they also want a short biography so there's a there's a list of things that you, they want in particular so each radio station will kind of specify what type of submissions they want so make sure that you are aware of what they want but that's the easiest way to find the contact details what I do suggest though, 5FM is really big, so I wouldn't even attempt to hit, uh, target them unless you know a specific show. Now, I'm gonna use 5FM as an example. Under shows, you click at the top, and then you try and find a show that you think would work. I don't even listen to 5FM. Uh, DJ Lloyd, I don't know, what does Lloyd do? You have to try a show that plays hip hop. Uh, you don't know what you say. Google hip hop show. I'm a five of them hip hop show. I think it's Miss Cosmo. Yeah, it is Miss Cosmo. You see, Miss Cosmo is the one that is in charge. So whenever she plays, I suggest that you listen up to. I'm gonna to listen to a show this coming weekend to see what type of music she's been playing. Um, I've got a song coming up. So if she's probably looking at the top five local, she won't be playing underground type of music. She'll be more interested in the commercial sounding and in general, that's what 5FM does play. You look at the track list of the stir up and then you check if this type of music fits in with your type of music. Okay, now we've got the nitty gritties. So how do you plan this? You set up a list on Excel, most likely. You get all the contact details done. You listen, you, you go through all the rate, sorry, you go through all the radio stations that you think are probable, that you think you have a chance of getting in. Start with the smallest ones, because the smallest ones will be easy to get into. So if you have a radio station close by to home, target those ones first. Um, 
and then you scale up, you most likely will have better success with the smaller radio stations within your region. And I suggest, like, I know YFM is not big internationally, I mean, nationally at home, but they are not an SABC radio station. They'll have a different submission guideline. So if you look over here, they have a submit, and then you fill in all the information here. You see, YFM wants your ISRC code separately. They also want a Dropbox link. So they they are totally different to something like 5FM, which is also different to Metro FM, is also different to True FM. So try stick within the specifications of the radio station. Now you must make sure your music fits the radio station. So once you have your list drawn up, let's say your list started off with all these radio stations, you take off the ones that your music doesn't fit into. So RSK will not fit in hip hop. Radio 2000 will not fit in hip hop. Um, and then you do the same thing. You cross all those radio stations out. You should be left with about five to 10. I suggest five radio stations is good enough on the SABC side. On the five radio stations, you get the email address and then you also get the contact detail into the switchboard. Uh, switchboard number, where is it? No, no, contact with him or wherever it is. Ah, oh, there's the number, office number. You get the office number. You get airtime and you call the office number and you ask them for the name of the music compiler. And once they tell you who the music compiler is, you write that name down on the same list. And then you contact, you ask to be sent through to the, the music compiler. For some odd reason, music compilers aren't always available. So you write his name down and you call him later in that day or the, like the next day. And then you ask, how do I go about submitting my music? you will give you specifications. He's like, okay, that's perfect and then you send them an email. In that email, you type something very small, something simple. Um, let me just, uh, yeah, compose a basic email. Uh, music at true uh, music. music playlist submission. The key into sending an email, a cold email, is to keep it very short. So since you've already called the radio station before submitting, you say, dear, whatever the playlist name is, whoever the playlist guy is, um, imagine it's Joe Soap. You'd remind them that you've called them. Thank you. Um, so you've already called, you've already spoken to them. So you want to try build a relationship with this person so you can refer to them at, at, by their first name. And you say, thank you for the, thank you for the phone call. Just to remind them that you actually call, you call them. So you're already mentally playing games with them. Thank you for the phone call. Thank you for the advice on the phone. Thank you for the advice on the phone as advice as advised and then you type in i've attached i've attached or however they want you to send information i'll attach the information you required information you requested and then and then you add any other information they want so they might want an rsrc they want, want a samro relation number relation number blah 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 whatever they want they might want your rsc relation number they usually want that they might want a website depending on the size of the radio station big radio, uh, radio stations don't need to care about this other stuff it's your baby but the smaller radio stations might want to get more information before they play you um i know in the eastern cape they the smaller community radio stations do want this information so they can give it a little discussion before they send it through and then you attach it you see how short this email was very short very very short um you want to put the artist name obviously sorry about that artist name and then name of song and that's it simple email regards this will take the person two minutes to read through if they're happy with what they got then they will accept it but the key once you start submitting is to keep on you need to be persistent so once you've submitted you you call the person literally the same day or the next no wait for the next day the next day you call the person and you tell them yo i've sent you an email have you received my email they most likely will say no oh okay 
it, but sometimes the smaller radio station they say hold on let me just check my emails and then they'll give you a story about how busy they were not all of them but some of them will tell you how busy they were but you just bear with them and if they get it they say thanks i've received it and then we'll begin processing it you leave them for the rest of the week you call them the next week same time don't call on a monday ever call on the tuesday morning at 10 o'clock nine o'clock ten o'clock and then you tell them the same thing like i was just checking if you were able to playlist me or i was checking if i could get a playlist or an update if i was playlisted or not they'll be like uh they probably won't remember you because they probably get a lot of phone calls they will be getting more since this video you just keep on doing the same thing two days and then you do two days after that so on tuesday and thursday you leave them for friday you leave them on monday you call them again on tuesday call them again on thursday eventually they will start making for me it usually takes three weeks before they start like they remember you after like four phone calls and then you've effectively become friends with this person not friends but you have a understanding you know each other now you do this with all the radio stations that you are targeting but it is very important that your music fits the radio station so if they don't have a hip-hop show don't waste their time don't waste your time Remember, once you've sent an email to the music compiler, it is very important that you give them a call probably the next day and you have to follow up at least once a week for the next four weeks because they are not really focused on your music. It is your music and your responsibility to get them to put your music on the playlist. Each radio station plays different type of music and appeals to different demographic. It's also very important that you submit your music to radio station that at least has a show that is geared to that type of music. There's no point in sending a hip hop song to a country radio station and vice versa. So I highly suggest that you spend time one day looking through a list of your radio stations to see which radio station is more likely to play your music and also to consider the smaller the radio station, the easier it is to get a hold of the music compiler and the easier it is to be playlisted because they'll feel a personal connection to you. That concludes this video where I explained exactly how to submit your music to radio stations, particularly SABC radio stations. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, please hit the thumbs up and if you like this information, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell to get a notification every time I release a new video and until next time, Skilligan the Hooligan signing out.